Hello, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer here. Today we're going to be looking at a news article. QAnon mom charged with kidnapping her kids. But you know, you know, this is not a Q channel. This is a sovereign citizen channel. And you guessed it, you guessed it. This mom is also caught up with the sovereign citizen movement. So we're going to take a look at this article. I'm going to provide some commentary. We're going to learn and we're going to have a little fun. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you like my content, please like, subscribe, Subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, really, I'm looking for subscribers right now. The majority of my subscribe, a majority of my viewers are not subscribed. So I would ask that you subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000. Then YouTube will open me up. Uh, I can get like a merchandise shelf and other cool things that I can do to make the channel even better. So please uh, give me a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. As you guys also know, um, I drink Black Rifle coffee as an Amazon affiliate. If you buy this on one of my links, which is in the description below, I do get a small profit from it. However, I'm a veteran. This company is owned by veterans and a portion of all of their profits go to veteran causes. So buy this coffee. It tastes great. Some of them have extra caffeine. All right. And you're supporting veterans. Now, before we get into the article, raise your cup, your glass, your wine glass, whatever it is you're drinking. I prefer coffee. I also drink Diet Coke. I prefer coffee. You may be drinking wine, beer, or liquor while we're quarantined from the coronavirus. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Mm, that's pretty good. Okay, QAnon mom charged with kidnapping her kids. There, we get a look at her right there. I'm glad to see she's got a face mask. At least she's uh, protecting herself from the coronavirus. Okay, a QAnon cons conspiracy theorist fascinated with the crackpot legal theories of the anti-government sovereign citizen movement allegedly kidnapped her two daughters last week. It is just the latest example of the growing and increasingly dangerous overlap between right-wing conspiracy theorists and real-life violent crime. I actually agree with that. I don't know about characterizing it as right-wing, maybe far right-wing, okay, um, but it is growing. QAnon believers have been charged in the past with two murders, a terrorist incident near the Hoover Dam, and an incidence of church vandalism, all of which appeared to have been motivated by their bizarre beliefs. Let's take a quick sip here. Kentucky resident Neely Blanchard, whose two daughters are legally in their grandmother's sole custody, allegedly took the children from their grandmother's house in Logan County, Kentucky on March 20th. An Amber Alert sent out after the abduction warned that Blanchard was armed with a handgun. Blanchard was eventually arrested early Thursday morning, and her two daughters were recovered unharmed. Thank God. Amen. Blanchard now faces two kidnapping charges and two charges of custodial interference, according to Logan County Sheriff Stephen Stratton, who said that law enforcement officials traced her cell phone location to the home of a group of anti-government extremists known as, so known as sovereign citizens. This is always my favorite part in the article because each journalist sort of defines them in a different way, okay? Sovereign citizens believe in an elaborate set of legal theories that hold that American citizens can unilaterally use certain code phrases to proclaim that the United States government has no jurisdiction over them, and thus they get out of hot water with the justice system. While these ideas have no actual force in law, correct, a series of Facebook groups and YouTube personalities have promoted sovereign citizen theories to parents desperate to regain custody of their children, drawing them into the fringe movement. The FBI considers sovereign citizens a potential source of domestic terrorism. A 2018 Southern Poverty, Poverty Law Center report found that sovereign citizens had killed six law enforcement officials since 2005. Blanchard, for example, is the moderator of a Facebook group called E-Clause. 
a hot bread, a hotbed for sovereign citizen legal discussion. Boy, I'd like to sneak into that Facebook group. She drives a car with an E clause license plate. Look, if anybody sees this license plate, please take a picture and send it to me. While Blanchard avoided police, other sovereign citizen E clause supporters posted encouragingly on her Facebook page. Yeah, encourage the woman to break the law. Good job, guys. E clause founder Kirk Pendergrass did not respond to. A request for comment. We got to look this guy up. What the heck is going on here? Jeez, oh man. While on the run with her children, Blanchard posted a non-consent statement on Facebook that appeared to be a reference to sovereign citizen ideas. Yeah, didn't you know if you post it on Facebook, uh, it gives you a legal immunity from all the laws? I do not consent, I do not contract, I do not acquiesce nor trade or allow access or inquiry to my nor my child's chestui k via trust. You like that? My Latin, my Latin there. Blanchard's strange statement read, all deemed authorities are now notified and therefore have le no legal jurisdiction against me. I am now not deemed dead lost at sea. Whew, that's some good sovereign citizen stuff there, friends. The letter appears to be a sovereign citizen tactic meant to help Blanchard regain custody of her children and avoid kidnapping charges. Copies of the letter were also delivered to baffled legal officials around Logan County. She's claiming that she's a sovereign citizen and she had actually sent letters to myself and the county attorney here stating those things, Stratton told the Daily Beast. Yeah, that'll get the police off your tail, don't worry. According to her Facebook post, Blanchard is an ardent promoter of the QAnon conspiracy theory, a pro-Trump fringe movement that believes Trump is engaged in a shadowy war with a global cabal of pedophiles in the Democratic Party who eat children. Whew. Okay. Blanchard's Facebook account includes a number of QAnon-related memes, as well as pictures of her at Trump rallies wearing QAnon shirts referencing the QAnon idea that JFK faked his death, JFK Jr. faked his death to help Trump defeat the deep state. QAnon is popular in the sovereign citizen child custody groups in part because its believers claim the government and child protective agencies are abusing the children they take from the parents' custody, an idea referenced in Blanchard's sovereign citizen letter. I like that they're calling it a sovereign citizen letter. This isn't the first time a child custody dispute has had the potential to turn violent over QAnon. In January, the FBI arrested QAnon believer Cynthia Abkuch in Montana for allegedly plotting to kidnap her son who was not in her custody with the help of another armed QAnon supporter. Abkuk allegedly discussed people dying in a raid on the home where her son lived. Abchuk had been on the run before her arrest and became a cause celebre on the same sort of sovereign citizen child custody Facebook groups that Blanchard belonged to. The hunt for Blanchard and her children was complicated by the coronavirus pandemic, according to Stratton. When officers arrived at the sovereign citizen home, <laughs> I love that they call it a sovereign citizen home, where Blanchard was allegedly hiding out with her daughter, several people in the house claimed to have fevers in an apparent attempt to scare off law enforcement. From what we've been reading, they've been using the coronavirus epidemic as a government conspiracy theory type thing, Stratton said. Blanchard had previously tried to take another of her children out of custody in 2013 after allegedly paying a friend 20 Xanax tablets to make a false abuse report. Man. I put a little butter in this coffee. It's good. After Blanchard's arrest in Kentucky, a woman claiming to be one of her friends posted on her Facebook account describing the arrest. The woman complained that the sheriff's deputies ignored Blanchard's sovereign citizen document and arrested her anyway. Um, yeah, that's exactly what they did because that's their job. A predictable outcome given that sovereign citizen arguments have no relation to actual laws. We gave them the non-consent paper, showed it to them, 
it didn't matter. Yeah, no F and S, lady. No crap. Wow. There's the journalist here, Will Summer. I like this guy. I like his writing style. Uh, he cracked me up a little bit. So there you go, folks. Um, now the sovereign citizen movement uh, is getting mixed with the QAnon movement. Um, maybe we can we can stir up the flat earthers in there um, and uh, you know get a really really good stew of craziness. I, you know, I'm glad law enforcement has taken notice and are cracking down on these people. There's still plenty of work to do. Uh, thank you very much for walk it, watching. This is Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer, Common Sense Academy. Uh, tune in for more news stories, antics, and information on sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and other crazy stuff. Thank you very much.